Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing Week 14 in the NFL. We're talking right now with our training guest, Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. Some people might have missed this guy because he's been away for a couple of weeks. Now he's back, and the reason they missed him, winners. He's been giving us winners nonstop uh, since he started doing calls with us. Very impressive. You can attack him however you want. Can't attack his record. Justin Bat, thanks for being back with us. Did you miss me? Yeah. We got two picks for Week 14. These games are no cakewalk, but we see value in both, so let's get to it. Absolutely, I missed you. Seattle Philly is the second game that you uh, you know chose. This is an interesting one because uh, you know there could be a, there's a lot of X factors here. We'll see what you have to say about it first. Just give everyone a rundown of what IlluminatiSports.ca is all about. Illuminati Sports has been on autopilot all season long with no unexpected turbulence when it comes to the NFL past. So far, we've treated viewers to an SBR video record of 1911, and we're optimistic that we'll continue to deliver winners throughout the upcoming weeks. Last week, we went 4-1 against the spread in Week 13. Winners included Buffalo, San Diego, Green Bay, New Orleans against the spread, with the lone loser being Carolina against the spread. The regular season might be coming to conclusion phase, but our NFL pass goes straight through until the Lombardi Trophy gets raised in Arizona. Get in the winner's circle with us at IlluminiSports.ca today. All right, Justin Bat. Well, let's get into this game. Uh, it's a very interesting one. I'm kind of interested. That it's a little bit surprised that you picked this one. Philly is a one-point home favorite. The total is 48. Both these teams, of course, uh, off of big, impressive wins on Thanksgiving. They've also been doing well against spread recently. Uh, Philly has covered four out of the last five. Seattle's covered three out of their last four. So both teams doing well against the spread. Both teams equally rested and coming off of big wins. Uh, you know, so on that, it's a wash. And the matchups are going to be interesting here, right? Because, uh, you know, you have the, the huge Philly offense. It has been, you know, say what you want about Mark Sanchez. So far this year, it's been an effective offense. Philly's been getting wins and covers. They've been putting points up on the board. Can Seattle's, uh, you know, big defense shut them down? You know, Mark Sanchez is always turnover prone. You know, Seattle's defense can cause that in, uh, in quarterbacks. On the other hand, Seattle has traditionally not traveled that well when they go east. And then with the other matchup, uh, you know, it's kind of like um, uh, Philly's big weakness on defense is the long pass. And that is also something that uh, Seattle's offense is not really built to take advantage of. They have a read option based uh, offense. And, uh, you know, with all the problems Marshawn Lynch has been having, maybe Philly's uh, defense is, is going to be a good matchup to, to hold Seattle down. So it's kind of tricky. I think I might be leaning Philly minus one, but it's an interesting game. What's your analysis here, Justin Bat? Well, Peter, these two teams haven't collided helmets since 2011. But we think this game is going to boil down to quarterback IQ and proper play calling. Defensively, the advantage goes to Seahawks in terms of yards per game allowed, passing yards per game allowed, rushing yards per game allowed, and points per game allowed. Slight edge uh, for the Eagles on offense with yards per game, passing yards per game, points per game, and third down conversion ratio. My main concern about this game, though, like you stated, is Mark Sanchez and his ability to exploit the pass defense of Seattle. The slight advantage stats are deceptive because it's Mark Sanchez staring at quarterback. And as I stated back in week 11, our video versus the Packers, he is a pine rider to Nick Foles. And once again this week, it's likely going to justify why he is an NFL backup. If Philadelphia can't dominate offensively, they usually come up short. The Eagles are undefeated when scoring at least 27 points, but they've lost all three games when failing to reach that mark. LaShawn McCoy has helped that cause rushing for 289 yards over the last two weeks, which is definitely a positive for Philly. But the bad news is Seattle hasn't allowed 27 points since their Week 7 loss to the Rams. The Seahawks also ride a three-game road winning streak in Philadelphia. So with all the above said, let's get to the pick. Let's get to the pick. Sounds like you're leading uh, Seattle. I can certainly see uh, I can certainly see the argument for that. I'm just a little bit concerned about them traveling all the way east and, you know, maybe some uh, psychological issues with Marshawn Lynch and the matchup of uh, the way Philly plays defense with the way Seattle plays offense. Well, all psychological issues aside with Lynch, you know, that's kind of a gong show issue going on. But Seattle plus one looks like tremendous value, especially mm. because of the importance of this game. They have overall better running back with Marshawn Lynch and the option quarterback in Russell Wilson. Expect the Eagles to spend the game trying to solve the dynamic play calling of the Seahawks. It will be too little, too late by the time they do. Seahawks plus one it is. Okay, Justin Bat, interesting read on this game. Seahawks plus one. We'll see how this turns out. Thanks so much for doing these calls with us, and we'll talk to you again very soon. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round. 
a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.